graders. We are looking at lessons 10 and 11 today. 10 is a critical look at proportional relationships, and 11 is constant rate. So, Wesley walks at a constant speed from his house to school 1.5 miles away. It took him 25 minutes to get to school. What fraction represents his constant speed? And then after that, you want to know how many miles he has walked after 15 minutes. Let Y represent the distance he traveled after 15 minutes of walking at the given constant speed. Write a fraction that repre represents the constant speed see, Excuse me. in terms of Y. So that's going to be our fraction to represent his constant speed. And then that's going to be miles after 15 minutes. So Y, sorry that's there. So y is the uh, distance, 15 minutes is the time, so that corresponds. So let's go over here to our whiteboard. So I wrote those out. Both equal c, so we can write them as a proportion equaling each other. So now we want to find out what y equals. So we're going to multiply <clears throat> by 15. Or no, hold on. Yeah, we're gonna multiply by 15. So we can do these and these. We can rewrite it as 25y equals 1.5 times 15, which is 22.5. Then we divide by 25 on both sides. We get y equals 0.9. So he's walked 0.9 miles after 15 minutes. Okay, now we're going to go on and look at the next one. So, okay, just another look at it there. So next we're looking at Darla. Darla drives at constant speed of 45 miles per hour. A, if she drives for Y miles and it takes her X hours, write the two variable equation to represent the number of miles Darla can drive in X hours. So I'm just going to get to Darla here. So I have that written. It would be y over, oops, let's get rid of that. y over x equals 45 or y equals 45x. It can be written both ways. So that's our first one. Second, Darla plans to drive to the market 14 miles from her house. So what one is miles, y is miles. Then to the post office, three miles from the market, and then return home which is 15 miles from the post office. Assuming she drives at a constant speed the entire time, how long will it take her to run her errands and get back home? Round to the nearest hundredth place. So we're gonna take this here. So 14 miles to the um, market, plus three miles to the post office, plus 15 miles back home is 32. We already said Y was the miles, so 32 equals 45X. So to solve, we're going to divide by 45, divide by 45, oops, that shouldn't be a decimal, there we go, then we get x equals 0 0.71111, so on. So, round into the nearest hundredth place, 0 0.71, so about 0 0.71 hours, so not even a full hour, okay? Next, Pauline mows a lawn at a constant rate. Suppose she mows a 34 square foot lawn. Let's fix that right away because it's going to bug me. Lawn in 2.5 minutes. What area in square feet can she mow in 10 minutes? What about in T minutes? So, hold on, let's find the right. Problem. There it is. Okay, so average rate in 2.5 minutes is 34 over 2.5 because that's what we already looked at. And we don't know how much lawn she can mow in 10 minutes, so we have A over T, 10. So, like last one, since they both would equal C of a constant rate, we can set them up together. We're going to take these two times these two. So, 2.5A equals 35 times 10 is 350 divided by 2.5 divided by 2.5 
A equals 140. So she can mow 140 square feet of a lawn in 10 minutes. Now what about T? So here, silver problem, I think. Maybe that's not right. Hold on, sorry. Nope. All right, so Y over T. We'll just add a page. That's my bad. So Y over T equals the original 35 over 2.5. So how can we do this? We're going to take that and that. 35T equals Y. Oops, I didn't do that right. Sorry, hold on. Thirty five T equals two point five Y. Somewhere we gotta change that. So we're gonna make Y by itself. So we're gonna divide by two point five. We end up with thirty five over two point five times T equals Y. So if you don't know the time, that's what it would be. If you find out the time, then you plug that in. So now we'll go to the next problem, sorry. So we have Emily who paints at a constant rate. She can paint 32 square feet in five minutes. What area A in square feet can she paint in T minutes? So we first need to write that equation. So we have that here. She has 32 over five equals C, A over T equals C. So we write them together. Now it's saying about how many square feet can she paint in two and a half minutes? So that would be replaced here. So we're just gonna do that. We're gonna take these two, those two. So we have five A equals 32 times 2.5, which is going to be, I'm not sure off the top of my head. So 32, 2.5. 10, 16, 4, 6, so 0, 0, so 80, so 80. Okay, we divide by 5. So how much area can she do in two and a half minutes? It's going to be, I think 16. Let's just double check. Sixteen, so she can paint about sixteen square feet in two point five minutes. Okay, so again, that's how you would do that one. So that's it. So we looked at proportional relationships, which was something over something equals something over something. Um, and then we looked at constant rate. So if you know what the constant rate is, you can plug any number in to find out what uh, it would be for that time. Or that area. Okay, so complete the Edmodo questions for lessons 10 and 11. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. I believe we have another lesson tomorrow and then we'll review on Thursday um, for the week. Okay, have a great Tuesday.